And our first set of awards are for the best annual report. To kick this off, we are pleased to invite on stage two lawyers. Now, not to worry, they're not going to charge you by the hour. The first is Ms. Bianca Chio, who is Executive Director and Chief Operating Officer of Mewa International. Accompanying her is one of Singapore's top corporate lawyers and the former Vice Chairman of SID, Mr. Adrian Chan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bianca and Adrian. Thank you so much, Rachel and Philip, for that generous introduction. Good evening, everyone. You know, Bianca, with gender diversity being so topical, there really should be an award tonight for the most gender diverse board in Singapore. Well, Adrian, you know, I wouldn't call it the most gender diverse award, since technically there are only two genders that exist. Maybe we can call it the most non-male board award. <laughs> Of course, there will be no surprises as to the long-standing winner there, though. Your company, Miwa, will be the clear champion with four women out of a board of ten directors. No other listed board comes even close. Did you always have 40% women on your board? Well, yes, from our IPO days, um, back when gender diversity was not such a hot topic, I I'm just waiting for the day that we have 100% women on our board. Yeah. After all, the UK is a female Prime Minister now, and hopefully the US will soon follow. Well, Adrian, I wouldn't go so far as to call Donald Trump a woman, even with that toupee. <laughs> Actually, I would just settle for a listed company having a majority of its directors as women. That will be a milestone in itself. After all, we know that women win all the boardroom arguments, even though they are in the minority. You know, I'm a lawyer who argues for a living. But with a majority of women in my family, I never win an argument at home. Well, speaking of winning, we are here to give out the best annual report awards. To help us to do that, we would like, like to invite Mr. Torsten Linky, Managing Director, Branch Manager Singapore, Head Private Banking Southeast Asia, Bank Julius Baer, Singapore, to present the awards. Accompanying Mr. Torsten Link, Linker is Mr. Eleanor Lee, Chairman of the Best Annual Reports Award Judging Panel. Thank you, Eleanor and Torsten. Now on to the winners. First, we start with the newly listed companies. And for this category, we do not rank the winners, we have two merit winners and we will call them out in alphabetical sequence. The first name that we are honouring is a Global Hotel and Service Residence Trust that has recently added a hotel in Dresden, Germany to its portfolio. Well, good luck to them finding chambermaids there because you know what they say about Germany, where the men are men and the women are also men. Well, congratulations to Fraser's Hospitality Trust. And receiving the award is Ms. Yu Chin Fen, its uh, Chief Executive Officer. <laughs> the second is a group of specialist medical practitioners dedicated towards women's health and wellness. Bianca, they have something in common with Miwa. While you have a significant number of women directors on your board, this company has a bunch of medical specialists and the vast majority of them are women. They are Singapore ONG Limited and receiving the award is its Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Victor Ng. and Business Trust Award. For the Bronze Award, we have a REIT with an asset size of nearly 5 billion, comprising about 90 properties in 38 cities across 14 countries. And I'm sure that most of you will have stayed in one of its escort, sister deans or some set properties before. 
Congratulations to Escort Residence Trust. And receiving the award will be Mr. Ronald Tay, its CEO. And the Silver Award goes to well, last year's Silver Award winner once again, which is the only REIT in Singapore that focuses on best-in-class commercial properties in both Hong Kong and mainland China. Maple Tree Greater China Commercial Trust. And receiving the award is Ms. Elizabeth Lu, Vice President, Investor Relations. Yes, the gold award goes to another familiar name. One of the largest REITs in Singapore with assets of over 4 billion, comprising 11 office towers in Singapore and Australia. Keppel REIT, and receiving its award is the CEO, Ms. Ng Xue Ling. Now for the companies below 300 million in market cap. For the bronze award, the winner is a company that was listed in 2001 and has businesses in integrated engineering, real estate and infrastructure, with one of its associated companies being listed on market for alternative investment of the stock exchange of Thailand just three months ago. T International Limited. And receiving its award is its group deputy managing director, Mr. Eric Hua. For the Silver Award, the winner is a specialty chemical solutions provider that won four awards at last year's Singapore Corporate Awards. That has actually won a, at least one award seven out of ten years since the launch of the Singapore Corporate Awards. Please congratulate Megachem Limited and receiving the award is its CFO, Mr. Francis Yao. The top award is a leading infrastructure and civil engineering group that won the gold for best investor relations at last year's awards and has also received 12 awards in 7 out of the 10 years since the, C since the SEA's inception. Tonight, it has struck gold. For the best annual report award gold winner, we are pleased to invite on stage Ms. Ong Wei Wei, CFO of OKP Holdings Limited. Now we move on to the mid-caps, companies with market caps of between $300 million to $1 billion. The Bronze Award goes to a company that commenced its operations in the Philippines as far back as 1926 and operates the world's largest fully integrated but gender diversified pineapple operation. Dual listed on the main boards of the Singapore Stock Exchange and the Philippine Stock Exchange, Del Monte Pacific Limited. And receiving the award is his, CF, Chief, is his Chief Corporate Officer, Mr. Ignacio Sison. The Silver Award goes to a company that started way back in 1984 by acquiring an abandoned tin mine in Phuket and transformed it from an ecological wasteland into an environmentally sensitive resort. It now has close to 36 hotels and resorts, 73 spas and 3 golf courses over 23, 28 countries. Please congratulate Banyan Tree Holdings Limited. Receiving the award is its CFO, Mr. Eddie C. And the winner of the Gold Award goes to a company that traces its origin to the Straits Steamship Company established in 1890 and now has two core businesses, logistics and data centres. Keppel Telecommunications and Transportation Limited. The award will be received by CFO, Ms Tan Ing Hua. Finally, we have the large caps. Companies with the market cap of $1, million, $1 billion and above. The names here should not surprise you. The Bronze Award goes to, to a conglomerate that not only has won a whole host of corporate governance awards over the years, 
but just last year alone has also won awards for innovation, being the best employer, community chest awards, the distinguished patron of the arts award, and 39 workplace safety and health awards. Keppel Corporation Limited. And receiving the award is the CFO, Mr. Chan Hon Chu. And the silver award goes to a bank that was just last week named by Euromoney as Asia's best bank and the world's best digital bank. And by the end of this year, it aims to introduce voice biometric authentication for its customers in Singapore. Please welcome on stage DBS Group Limited, DBS Group Holdings Limited. Collecting this award, it's its Managing Director of Finance, Mr. Mikkel Larson. the Gold Award. It goes to a company with more than 130 years of operating experience in Singapore and has the largest market capitalization on the Singapore Stock Exchange at nearly 67 billion. And the CEOs have been gender diversified. Singapore Telecommunications Limited. And receiving the award is this non-male group CEO, Ms. Chua Sok Kut. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the annual report awards. Our work is done. Thank you very much, Austin and Eleanor, for giving out the awards. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all the winners. We now pass you back to Rachel and Philip.